Hi everyone, welcome to Medicine Note YouTube channel. Here we are going to see about edema. Edema is defined as accumulation of excess fluid in interstitial tissue space. Edema is defined as accumulation of excess fluid in the interstitial tissue space is known as edema. These are the cells which are present in between the collectively known as tissue. In between these, it is known as interstitial space which connect, which contains interstitial fluid. The, when there is a more collection of interstitial fluid in the interstitial space, which leads to edema. Anasarca a generalized and diffused edema all over the body is known as anasarca. It is a generalized edema all over the body from head to toe. Fluid accumulate in various parts of the body cavity. They termed according to the site. So there are fluids which accumulates in the various parts of the body cavity. They are named according to their site where they present abdominal cavity pleural cavity pericardial cavity thoracic cavity abdominal cavity is known as ascites pleural cavity is known as pleural effusion pericardial cavity pericardial effusion thoracic cavity hydrothorax edema occurs when total plasma protein is less than 5 mg 5 gram per deciliter normal plasma level is 6 to 8 gram per deciliter edema occurs when the total plasma protein level is less than 5 gram per deciliter or otherwise we can specifically we, we are using here the total protein but we can specifically say about the albumin when the albumin level is less than 2.5 gram per deciliter the normal albumin level is 3.5 to 5 gram dl when the albumin level is less than 2.5 gram per dl it leads to edema there are three types of edema They are classified as localized, generalized and special examples. Localized in organs of limbs, inflammatory and lymphatic and toxic allergic. Generalized systematic distribution especially subcutaneous tissue. It is present in especially in subcutaneous tissue example renal, cardiac and nutritional. Ex special examples are pulmonary edema and cerebral edema. The subcutaneous edema is divided into two pitting edema and non-pitting edema. The pitting edema it produces depression on momentary pressure of the finger on edema. When the pressure is applied there is a depression and then it uh, comes back to the original position which is known as pitting edema. There is a pitting uh, for a few seconds and it comes back to the original position non pitting edema it does not produce the depression it does not even produce the depression example mixed edema and elephantiasis according to edema fluid it is the third type is according to the edema fluid it is transudative edema or ex exudative edema transudative edema has low protein content Exudative edema has high protein content. It is an important question. There is a difference between transudative and exudative means low protein content, high protein content. Transudative edema made up of filtrate of blood plasma. Exudative edema made up of edema of inflammatory tissue. Mechanism of edema. Edema results in increase Force to move fluids from intravascular compartment to the interstitial space. The edema means the increased force to move the intravascular compartment to the inter 
shield space. For example, this is intravascular compartment. This fluid is moved into to the interstitial space. The following mechanism may be in the combination to produce sodima. These are the six mechanism. These are six mechanism which cause or which produces sodima. Decreased plasma oncotoic pressure, increased capillary hydrostatic pressure, lymphatic obstruction, tissue factor, increased capillary permeability, sodium water retention. Decreased plasma oncotoic pressure. A fall in total plasma protein level. As I was already said, the fall in total plasma protein, which is leads to hypoproteinemia, is less than 5 decigram, 5 gram per deciliter, lower plasma oncotoic pressure, thus cannot effectively contract hydrostatic pressure of the blood. This results in increased outward movement of the fluid from the capillary, which leads to the edema. The albumin exerts the high oncotoic pressure when the albumin level is less, which leads to hypoalbumin urea, often results in edema. Hypoproteinemia produces generalized edema. Decrease in albumin or decrease in the uh, total protein level, plasma protein level, which leads to edema. Oedema of renal disease Example is nephrotic syndrome and acute glomerulonephritis. In liver it causes cirrhosis. Increased capillary hydrostatic pressure. Capillary hydrostatic pressure is the force of the normal tend to drive the fluid through the capillary wall into the interstitial space. When there is an increased hydrostatic capillary pressure, then this force tends to drive the fluid from the capillary wall to the interstitial space. Usually, the hydrostatic pressure at the vernal end is very low, 12 mg per mercury, allowing return of interstitial fluid. There is very low Hydrostatic pressure in vernular end, it is which is this 12 mg mercury, allowing the return of interstitial fluid. Oedema of the cardiac disease or congestive cardiac failure and constrictive pericarditis. Lymphatic obstruction. Normally, the interstitial fluid in the tissue space escapes through lymphatic and thus the obstruction of the outflow of the lymphatic cause localized edema. Normally the interstitial fluid in the tissue space, the interstitial fluid present in the tissue space, tissue space is otherwise known as interstitial space, escapes through lymphatics. Always the, the fluid which is present in the interstitial space escapes through lymphatic. When there is any block or obstruction in the lymphatic, which leads to a localized edema, which is known as lymphoedema. Sodium water retention. Hypovolemic condition leads to renal retention of sodium and water, resulting in edema. Hypovolemic condition means when there is a decrease in water content in the body, there is a signal of uh, signal in which the sodium and water retention takes place in, and this causes edema. Increased capillary permeability. An intact endothelium acts as semi-permeable membrane permitting free flow of only water and crystalloid allowing only minimal passage of the tissue protein. The endothelium which is present in the capillary acts as a semi-permeable membrane permitting free flow of water and crystalloids and some of the tissue protein, a minimal passage of the tissue protein. The capillary endothelium can be, this endothelium which is present in the capillary can be injured by various uh, things like poisons, toxins, drug, histamine and chemical. In such cases, the gaps 
between the endothelium cell increasing increasing the capillary permeability of the plasma protein the oncotoic pressure of the plasma is reduced and that the interstitial fluid is elevated and which produces edema when there when there is a gap between the endothelium the interstitial fluid the vascular the interstitial fluid has more water so it results in edema these are the six mechanism and combination which produces edema thank you for more videos like share and comment